look at her. Do you have a crush on anybody? See, cats don't have to deal with this stuff. They're lucky. Anyway, hey guys, it's Sarah. Today, I'm doing more personal questions that you guys have submitted to me. And again, not at all am I an expert on this stuff, but some things I can just relate to. So without further ado, crush on a friend, should I tell them? Let's find out. <laughs> So not only am I doing this video because it was requested, I am also doing this video because I just relate to it. It recently happened to me at school last year, so why not make a video about it? By the way, I have gotten over this. I feel so much better. I am okay. But we are going to relive the past right now. So before giving you guys advice on this video, let me just go into my story. Here we go. I had a crush on a gay guy. And I've said this on my channel before, like a 50 facts about me video. So yeah, there's really not that much detail to go into here except for the fact that I liked a guy who does not like girls and he didn't like me in that way. It just was not a good time. Cause when you like somebody who you know doesn't like you back or nonetheless likes your gender, it can really suck. You just feel so alone and defeated. And it just sucks for anybody when you like somebody and you just know they're not gonna like you back no matter what you do. So what do I do? I keep it inside me for like three months. Was it three months? Let's say two months. So yeah, just like a normal situation, I started out just liking him as a friend, obviously. And I don't really remember too much about it because again, this was last year. But from what I do remember, I think a month went by and we just kept hanging out and I just felt a lot closer to him and stuff. And I felt like I really related to him and I just felt so good having someone like that in my company. So basically, just like anybody who has a crush, I liked him because... I liked his personality, I liked his qualities, I felt good hanging out with him, and I thought he was cute. So all those things put together really confused me as a gay girl. But then part of me was thinking, maybe I just liked him because he had feminine qualities. I'm attracted to femininity because I am gay, and that does not mean I think of him as a girl. Being feminine and being a girl are two different things. It is not an insult to be feminine, so please don't take it that way, and I wouldn't want him to take it that way. So I feel like because he possessed a lot of these feminine qualities, I just really liked that. And not in the typical way straight girls usually like, like, oh, he's gay, yay, we can go shopping. I like that he's feminine. He can do things that I like doing. It was not that type of attraction or admiration. It was literally like, I find you attractive. I would date you. You are cute. Anyway, a month goes by and I'm talking to my other friend and my friend is like, do you like him? Do you have a crush on him? And I was like, no, no, I don't. And I was serious at that time like at this time I was not making that up I was not lying I was not trying to pretend I didn't at that time I legit did not like him in that way but everything I was saying basically contradicted that fact so basically everything I was saying to my friend was like oh I just feel like the need to cuddle with him but it's not sexual it's not really romantic I don't have a crush it's just I feel this need to want to be close to him so I I thought of this as like a platonic friend close thing Thing. I didn't know what it was because I actually have never really felt that way towards a friend before. I've never really felt the need to want to be physically close to somebody who was a friend, especially a guy. So this was really confusing for me. So basically to sum this up, another month goes by. I was actually convinced that I liked him and my other friend was trying to convince me to tell him. But literally for weeks and weeks, I was like, I'm not going to tell him. That's going to ruin our friendship. Like I was so scared. Everybody is scared to tell a friend that you like them because... Literally, awkwardness can happen. Sometimes you end up losing a friendship, but luckily that did not happen in my case. Because in my opinion, I feel like if someone's your true friend, they wouldn't just stop talking to you, you know what I mean? But anyway, so finally in November, I sent him a long ass text. It was so extra. I wanted to do it in person so bad. I actually tried to do it in person, but I chickened out. I literally couldn't. I couldn't get the words out. I felt so embarrassed saying it. I just felt weird. So I was like, let me leave. <laughs> And literally five minutes later when I got back to my room, then I texted like the whole thing. And by the way, it was midnight at this time. I felt so relieved. I won't say happy, but I felt so relieved when I spilled all that out because now he knows. And I will admit the next day was like, 
kind of weird. I think there was, you could feel some tension. But again, that part of the story is not part of this video. Part of this video was, should you tell a friend you like them? And the answer is yes, but what type of friend is your friend? If you have a crush on a friend who is homophobic or you think that they won't react well to this, then maybe it's not a good idea to tell them. I'd just say, get over your feelings, move on to somebody else, because that could be very dangerous. I would say when you feel comfortable telling your friend, then tell them because there was a time when I wasn't comfortable saying it yet and I wouldn't want anybody to pressure me to say it, but then I finally gained the courage to actually text it out. And don't let anybody think that you're a coward for texting out your feelings and not saying it in person. It doesn't matter as long as you get the message out. I couldn't do it in person. And if text is the only way you feel comfortable doing it, then do it by text. It doesn't matter. And as I said earlier in this video, if they're a true friend, they won't dump you just because you like them. Like, I get it. There could be some awkwardness also depending on how long you've been friends. Me and him were only friends for about like two or three months during this whole time. So it's not like we were friends for five years and then this suddenly came up. So yes, I do suggest that you tell your friend if you like them, only if it's safe and only if you feel comfortable. Once you feel safe and once you feel comfortable saying it, then do it. Because honestly, guys, a brick lifted off my shoulders. I felt so relieved when I said it. I didn't have to worry about it anymore. I felt so much anxiety and I felt so low during these months. I literally wasn't counseling the same time it happened. I was telling my counselor all this stuff too. It could really affect your mental health when you are keeping something in for so long and not telling somebody. And if you're feeling a lot of anxiety and depression because of it, that's when it becomes a problem problem. And that's when it's time to either tell the person or seek out other friends or counseling and just talk out your feelings. So again, this video was extremely personal because I related to it so much and I shared a part of my life that I have only shared with like two people. But again, I tried to make this video as generic and vague as I could because I didn't want to disclose names or really big details because that's a little invasive and disrespectful. So anyway guys, that is it for today's video. If you related to anything or if you want to request more videos like this, just leave all that down below. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want so like and subscribe all my social media is down in the description and i will see you guys later Bye.